busy. I'll arrive fairly early in the morning. I'll wake up to some squawking. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, I wonder, maybe it's Mr. Fluffington. He would come along and then she would be there and I'm like, ah, so that's Mrs. Fluffington. <laughs> Every morning, just after sunrise, they'd come and squawk, and I'd come out and we'd sort of hang out for a little while. And then Hello. They're actually quite gentle. Oh, I like the cheeks. I like the cheeks. Okay. He's very friendly, so I'd learned that I could sort of hold hands with him. <laughs> <laughs> Proper game of footies. We're sort of learning to trust each other and now I can just sort of put my arm out and he'll hop straight on. The same with Mrs Fluffington as well. She likes to just sit on my shoulder. (laughs) If I leave the door to the balcony open, he'll wander inside and have a little look around. Mr Fluffy. Usually uh, hops onto the coffee table and he um, is quite attracted to the remote control. Spot the remote control. So he'll come and sort of pick that up and flick it away. (laughs) Right here by the door, looking in at me. (laughs) For a long time, it was just Mr. and Mrs. Fluffington visiting uh, with another bird that I call Bob. Now it's sort of like a, I guess, a stopping point in the neighbourhood for them. Sometimes I'll just get like a whole flock arrive all at once. There's another one that's visiting called French Fry. She's got this huge crest. The individual feathers look like French fries, I thought. Hey, Hunky Doon. Come on, mate. He's one of my current favourites. He makes these really cute hops. Sitting at my desk, which is just over there, and seeing the birds, it's pretty perfect. It's been a beautiful experience getting to know them. The best lockdown buddies you could have. (laughs) They're very well-loved birds. Here he goes.